In the latest book by Ushuk Günar, the botanical artist gives step-by-step -step instructions of how to create hyperrealistic portraits of plants and flowers. So intricate they could be in a research journal, but with all the color and vigor of nature itself. She has traveled all the way from her mountain home in Rize to join us in the studio. Thank you so much for coming here today. Thank it's you. It's great to have you. So, I call it ignorance, but I didn't know that botanical art still existed. So there's still that understanding of botanical art being something from the past, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is uh, botanical illustration is nothing new. It's very old. And you can even uh, see some botanical illustrations in the old caves. Drawing, it was, it was our uh, way of looking for knowledge for plants, to understanding plants. Mm -hmm. And the golden age of uh, botanical art was between, uh, I mean, it, it was in the 18th century, wasn't it? It was. It was the uh, 1700s and uh, following, following century. And uh, why was that? Why was there a need for botanical art? I think that, that was the time, that golden age of botanical illustration, that was the time of the expeditions times, that uh, Europe was uh, discovering for new lands, the other continents and uh, other areas. For that, that's why they were sending big ships to the other places, simply to understand what is going on around there and what is the other plants. And everything was... Uh, new for them, new plants, new animals, new culture, new people. And it was, I think, on those times, um, it was a common thing that to have um, some expert in the ships, to have uh, understanding, to understand the plants and bring the knowledge to the Europe. And those experts was uh, simply to understand the plant. They were drawing. That was true drawing. So they were, they were bringing plants, bringing animals, but the best way to understand, to bring the knowledge was true drawings. So it was quite functional back then, but is it anymore? I mean, why in this fast moving world, why is still there a need for um, botanical art and artists, you think? I mean, it is, uh, I think it's simply because uh, we need plants. Uh, plants is always our, in our lives and uh, our lives depends on plants. In that time, it was more like a discovery. We were discovering new plants, discovering new lands, and everything was new. We were trying to understand. But I think these days, it's blooming now, and it's these days, it's more about uh, that we are losing it. That uh, we have uh, lots of the, the, all the continents and every area that we can have access, we can travel, we can see. We know most of the plants, even if we don't see in our own eyes. But uh, I think it was... Um, it's, we don't have it now. The nature is not in our lives. So botanical illustration is a wonderful connection for us to be part of it, in a way. Mm -hmm. And in this book, Botanical Illustration from Life, this is your newly released mm -hmm. book. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you share your experience, um, I mean, as a botanical artist, a very esteemed botanical artist, that, uh, actually. So can you please talk us through the process of creating one botanical artwork? I mean, I think you should start by finding a good plant extract uh, example. Exactly. That's actually for me the most uh, joyful part of uh, being a botanical artist. That uh, I, I try to explain in the book, like how I do the work is I need a life specimen. Uh, I'm trying to explain that particular specimen on my paintings. And that's why I need a life specimen and that plant can be anywhere in the nature. And so I'm basically trying to arrange all my timetable according to flowering time of the plants. And I'm so trying to... do you to actually travel around the world trying to find plants? As much as I can, yes. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a <laughs> yes. big part of your job. That's the most joyful part of my job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm trying to find the plants in the nature. Sometimes it can be in a botanic gardens. And, uh, but uh, when I find the plant, and uh, I... It, the illustration, the drawing, it doesn't start immediately. I just need to first understand the plant, how it is, how it looks like, the natural position. Because in my illustration, the basically I'm trying to explain the plants and uh, the natural look of it is important. So my first approach is for me, I need to learn the plant first. So after then I need some my samples and I'm trying to draw uh, quick sketches in the field sometimes. Sometimes I'm going wherever I am in a bit more shady area. 
And I'm trying to draw uh, exact size and uh, trying to show the characteristic of it. And if I'm with an expert of that particular specimen, it's wonderful because that person is explaining me the plant because I need to know first what it is. And then I am uh, having a bit more longer time and starting my illustration. But before then, it's another process. Sounds like it. How many plants have you drawn so far, you think? <laughs> Do you know the yes, exact number? That's, a, that's a very difficult question. And uh, I don't know, but uh, hundreds of them. The, my completed illustration is a couple of hundreds. But uh, till this, this, this was a process. Like after years, I need to do, first I need to understand the plants for me to do illustration. And to understand the plants is to do with drawings. So I really try to draw as many species as possible. And I have like many sketchbooks. It's not completed, it's not finalized, but many illustrations. Mm -hmm. And quickly before we wrap up, I mean, you've been doing this for quite a long time now. So I wonder, isn't it a bit repetitive for an artist? Where do you find the joy in repeating the same things again and again? Yeah, that's uh, one of the questions I receive actually quite often that everybody asks, like, don't you paint anything else? I don't actually, I only paint plants. When it sounds like I paint plants, it sounds repetitive, but plants are so diverse so different every individual species is so different and botanical illustration is really to do with details and when i start to paint a plant i really need to look for every millimeter square of the plant so the details are amazing is another world so when i change my subject it's another world so it's no time for uh, getting bored with it <laughs> well sounds amazing thank you so much it was great to have you on our show today thank you